Hey everybody, this is John with Aperture Digital and today we're going to be looking at Happy Files, Bricks Builder, and the Bricks Query Loop. I've been using Happy Files to organize my pages and posts into a nice folder structure. So that's what Happy Files does. It lets you create folders on your WordPress backend in the admin panel and put things in your folders. So when you're looking at pages or posts, you'll have a GUI to add new folders and drag things into them. And we'll look at how Happy Files helps you categorize items based on the folder and how you can integrate that with the Bricks query loop. We'll get into all the details in a second, but first let's take a look at Happy Files and see what it's about. Um, according to their website, you can create and manage unlimited folders. Uh, with their pro version, I think you can create folders, maybe not unlimited. I think it says, what, 10 folders here on their free version. And you can organize your posts and pages and images in uh, a nice folder structure like you might do on a Windows or Mac computer. So that's what I'm using it for. It has a few other items like SVG tools, and it's a nice drag and drop interface. Um, so let's just dive in and look at how it's working with the Bricks query loop. Okay, we're in the admin dashboard. And what I wanna do is go through a real life example of how this might work. And for this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at pages. A lot of times I use custom post types, but we're gonna play with pages today to show some of the functionality with happy files and the Bricks query loop for pages. So we'll build some cards and a service section and loop through that query uh, with some of these different service types I have here. So first off, let's take a look at Happy Files. When you have the plugin installed, you'll see this sidebar over here with your folders. And if you wanna create a new folder, you just pop this uh, button right here and click it and hit create, and it'll create a new folder. So I'm gonna create one called services, and there's nothing in it. So when you go into it, this folder is empty, but you can go back to the top and look at all pages or uncategorized pages. If you wanna look for things that haven't been placed in a folder, you can look at it that way. Just go to all pages for now, and you can select multiple pages. We're gonna do six for now. Select six pages and drag them in. So what that does and the power of Happy Files is it will add a term similar to a tag or a category on these pages based on the folder. So anytime you wanna reference these pages right here, you can always call up the Happy Files Services folder and query them that way. And that's what I think is really cool about this plugin. It was created by the team that built Bricks, so it integrates really nicely with Bricks and has been a really solid plugin for me. So the next thing we're gonna do is go into the builder and take a look at how we can query these and a real use case with some cards uh, and how to loop through those for a nice service section. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add a new page. So I'm gonna go to all pages and just create a new page called Happy Files Demo and publish that. And let's jump into the page and edit with bricks and start setting up our cards. So to create my card, I'm gonna go pull in a frame from frames quickly. I'll open up my templates and go to remote templates and look at, I believe it's called blog and one of these frames items here. This is article card golf and we're just gonna import this so that we can have some general information and then I'm gonna wrap this with a section. So what do we have on this card here? We've got the author, the date, and an image and that's set to the feature image. So we might need to do a little work on the pages on the back end to set these feature images up. But let's go ahead and create the query loop and show you how this would look. And we'll tinker around a little bit to see 
um, how we can get a nice grid, but this is a good starting point. So let's go to the wrapper of the card, and this is where we're gonna place our query loop so that we can loop through all those pages and get all of these uh, items output on the front end. So click on the wrapper, and this one already has a query loop, so we're just gonna go in and select uh, the query. If you didn't have it turned on, you just click that button and then hit the query. And what we're going to do is select type, it's default to posts, and then instead of posts, we're going to select pages. So one way you could do this is say include this sample page and this privacy page and this one here and that one there, but that's not very dynamic. If you wanted the client to come in and edit this, you know, they would have a hard time uh, opening up the builder it's much easier just to hop over to your pages and you know drag another one in here so that's why we're doing it this way so we're on posts in our query we're gonna select pages we're not gonna use include or exclude uh, you can hit exclude current post if you want that way it's not gonna be there but I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter. I don't think we need to do that, but I generally check it on to not include current posts. And then we're going to click terms. And the best part about this is services folder is right there. So immediately you'll start to see all of those pages that we brought uh, in are just queried by the terms that Happy Files adds to those pages when you drag them in the folder. So <laughs> you know, tutorial over pretty much. That's really what I want to show you is this query right here. Posts, select pages, hit terms. Um, I think you could probably add other terms too and get more. Oh, that's nice. You can. So you could say like, hey, I want these folders and these folders. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do for the rest of the tutorial here is keep working on styling this in a nice uh looking section to show your services but really this is this is where the money is this is the power of happy files you could do this with a custom post type um, and use posts but if you wanted to use pages or you had a lot of pages that you inherited from another uh, person's website that you started working on they wanted to rebuild it in bricks or something but they wanted to keep a lot of that data you know who knows? Uh, it's endless what you can do here. But this is the key takeaway. The query loop, pages, the happy files, uh, terms right here. So uh, let's dive into styling this a little bit more. All right, so let's get to styling this a little bit better here. So we want to do some work on our card wrapper so instead of just having all these cards in a row i'm going to wrap this in a block and then on this block i'm going to let's see call it something i'm going to steal this class for this frame here and call it that wrapper and this is going to be a grid so Let's select grid. So we're on our class here. We're going to select grid and we're going to do a three column grid with a gap of large. Hit save and let's take a look on the front end what that looks like. So there we go. We've got our three column grid there. Um, the image isn't showing up because we haven't defined a feature image. So Let's go do that really quickly. So with happy files, you can also put featured image in the quick edit, which is really nice. So let's do that. And let's do just some general featured images, update that one. I'm gonna go and put some in and then resume the video, be right back. All right, last one here. Again, happy files. This select featured image makes it so you don't have to go in, into the post or page. 
really handy. And let's do this one. Hit update. And there we go. We've got some images there. Let's do a little bit more work here. Um, instead of block wrapping this, I'm going to wrap that with a container. So convert to container. Save. And let's see what I did here. Okay, that should work. Now it just kind of squashed it down a little bit. It sometimes is funny in the builder uh, when you convert some of these things. Let's refresh it and see if it, there we go. So now we've got some cards here. Let's add a heading. Bring this up to the top here. And this is going to be um, something like that. And we're going to make that in H1. Let's put some gap on the section here. Always add a custom class if you can. Um, since this is a frame here from frames, I just was kind of stealing that class nomenclature and putting it uh, on any other elements I add to it. So we're going to do a row gap of large. And if you're not familiar with the plaster plugin, it's it's a lifesaver. Um, let's just go like look at one thing here you can do with plaster. So if we wanted to add a little bit of padding here, so there's no padding, you can just like right click it and then start to see what your different paddings would be. Um, if you wanted to do something like background color, you can right click it and then all your options come up. And to me, this is a huge time saver. Oh my gosh. And then you might notice these little plus signs. If you hold control, it then brings up all of the automatic CSS shades. So, oh my gosh, this is like so fast. So let's do something on the section, background. So you right click it, you can hit that button and then just kind of go pick your shade, grays, your action colors. Um, we'll do something like a light base trans 20. And then on our cards, we'll do, I don't know, maybe white. And let's give it just a little bit of padding. Small, extra small looks okay to me. Let's check it out. Eh, you know, I would definitely do some more work on this. Um, I don't really like how the padding's going around that uh, featured image like that. Let's check this out. That's a little better, I guess. Um, maybe. Not my best style, but the point of this video is not the style. It's the uh, the query, which we're going to look at one more time. Let's do 5, 5, 10, 15, and a... I mean, this is so cool. Plaster is legit. Zero. You can just style it so quickly. Something like that. Got a card. Um, these are pages, individual pages. So you can go to that page right there. And your query loop is 
powering everything. So let's go and drop some more pages in there. So I'm going to go to my uncategorize. So I'm on pages. Go to uncategorize. Let's do uh, quick edit and add some images. We might add a couple already that we already have, but that's okay. Um, shoe cleaning. Darn it. Let's do this one. And window washing. So that's all I got to do. Window washing, shoe cleaning, pressure washing. I think that's the one. Drop it in there. And this is where it becomes really powerful. Boom. Like, this is so easy on your client. I can't even, they can control everything just, just this way. I mean, now you know, like if you need to de debug something, you know, you don't want them touching the query. Literally all you have to do is record a screen share of you like doing this. Hey, anytime you add a new page, you click here, you come here, you add your image, and then you just drag it in and you're done. So uh, I, th I thought that was really cool with happy files and a really great use case. Some other tools I'm using on my stack are frames and automatic CSS and plaster. Watch this with plaster. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but if you right click into the class, it brings up all the AC, uh, ACSS classes. Um, and then all the frames classes and all you do is just pick the one you want just do a large and it should add that class pad L right there that's so cool I don't generally use utility classes as much as the CSS variables so if you want to do it that way you come in and you know pick that and then it lets you preview it which is cool that's the best part especially for background colors like you're like mm, i don't really like that one. Oh no that's no good oh, that's okay you know let's maybe lighten it up a little bit you know whatever you want so super cool uh last one i've been using is this bricks forge uh and the bricks forge terminal is my favorite part so with bricks forge terminal just quickly here at the end if i wanted to create a new section you can just come in here and type in section. I think you need to put a space here. Section, and then it'll add that in a container. And then you click your container and you type something like heading plus text. And then it's going to add a heading and a text right into your container. And you can even add classes uh, right to the elements. Uh, you'd have to look at the documentation. I haven't quite gotten all my tor terminal shortcuts down, but um, you, could, you could build whole sections based on custom classes just from the terminal. You could save it off on a text file or something and uh, just pump that right in. I think that's really cool. So... Big shout out to the Bricks Forge uh, team. Awesome plug in here. I really like that one too. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, let's look at the query one more time because that's the whole point here. So this is our card. And we are using the pages to power the query using Happy Files terms. Awesome. Select post, hit pages, select your terms. You can add multiple terms, hit save, you're done. Uh, and the way Happy Files does it is anything you drag into the folder gets added that term, and you can query whatever you want. Uh, if you like this type of stuff, this is what I'm most interested in. I'm not really interested in the craziest designs. I'm more interested in maximizing the back end of WordPress queries and dynamic data. And I found that, you know, your 
website can look okay, but if your workflows for your clients and the way you design it and make it as dynamic and scalable as possible, that's where the money really starts to shine through. And you can always hire a graphics designer, uh, but understanding the back end and all the ins and outs of custom post types and queries and all of that stuff is uh, really important. So thanks for watching. If you found this useful, like and subscribe the channel, and uh, I will keep publishing more information like this. Have a good one.